Welcome back to Monkey Monday. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the Strepsorine branch. Strepsor what? Strepsorines. Now, remember how last episode I told you that the primate tree essentially breaks down into lemurs and lorises and then monkeys, apes, and tarsiers? Well, today we're going to be talking about the lemurs and lorises side. So strepsorines essentially means wet nose. Much like your cats and dogs, these primates rely a lot more on the olfactory or smell system than other primates. This means they look a little bit different when compared to other primates, like the squirrel monkey. Their noses are elongated and actually connected to their upper lip. Not to mention the olfactory lobe in their brain is a little bit bigger than the rest of the primates. So a few fun facts about strepsorines. Because of their reliance on the olfactory system, some strepsorines, like the ringtail lemur, actually get into what's called stink fights. So this is a behavior to solve altercations in the group. Essentially what they do is they take their scent and they rub it all over their tail and just waft it in the general direction of their opponent. Whoever stinkiest wins. Another fun fact about strepsorines is that they all actually have something called a tooth comb, meaning that their lower incisors and their canines actually point out and kind of make a rake. And it's really useful in grooming because it kind of works like this. This video just took a really weird turn, didn't it? And another fun fact about strepsorines, they all have something called a toilet claw. Now, I kind of want to high-five whoever made up that name because it actually has nothing to do with things that we associate with toilet behavior. Not to mention the fact that in the last episode we learned that primates don't have claws, they have nails. So everything about that name is just a lie. And another fun fact, all the lorises and some of the lemurs are actually nocturnal, meaning they're only active at night. This is vastly different from monkeys because there's only one type of monkey that is nocturnal, and that's the owl monkey. Imagine that. Because of their nocturnal behavior, they develop something called a tapetum lucidum, which is a layer behind the eyes that actually reflects light back and helps with night vision. This is what gives them and other nocturnal mammals, such as your friendly household cat, that weird eye shine that makes them look like demons in pictures. Now, lemurs are endemic to Madagascar, meaning they're only found on that island. And while their locomotion patterns vary across the species, it's generally true that their legs are longer and stronger than their arms. Now, you see how the safaka and ringtail lemur are sitting in this tree? They are primed to get around in a way called vertical clinging and leaping. Now, this means exactly what it sounds like. From a vertical position, they jump from tree to tree. And now, for my favorite fun fact, there's one type of primate that is actually venomous, and that is the slow loris. There's actually two types of lorises. There's slender lorises and slow lorises. Slender lorises are found in India and in Sri Lanka, while slow lorises are found in Southeast Asia. Now, slow lorises are the only ones that are venomous. They secrete a fluid on the inside of their arm here, and when they mix it with their saliva, it creates a sort of toxin. So when they bite something, it is extremely painful. Now, nearly all lorises and lemurs are either vulnerable or endangered, and they face threats such as deforestation, pet trade, and in the case of the slow loris, capture for the Asian medicine market. Furthermore, the slow loris pet trade is fueled by all these cute and adorable YouTube videos of the tickling slow loris and holding an umbrella, but as we know with their toxic bite, their teeth have to be clipped, and this is done without anesthetic, and it often results in infection and death. Now, a lot of people don't know what goes on behind the scenes of these videos. They just think they're cute and adorable and they want a slow loris as a pet. But I can assure you they're only brought about by cruelty and abuse. I put a link to a great slow loris conservation website in the description below so you can read up more about this issue. So that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about streps, Rhines. Leave your questions and comments below and I'll see you next Monkey Monday.